number 23. On the 30th of October 1993, the body of a 177 to 178 centimetre tall white male was found beneath Earsden Avenue Bridge at 7.20 p.m. He was between 25 and 35 years old, of a large build with short brown hair and had a full beard. He was found wearing a light blue short sleeve polo shirt, light blue jeans and white trainers. He had been hit by the 5.05 p.m. train from Houston. Number 22. A 172 centimetre tall white male was found inside Totley Tunnel after being hit by a train on the 9th of August 1994. He was between 25 and 40 years old and had fair hair. He was discovered wearing a blue anorak, a grey, white and blue jumper, a red and white check shirt, blue jeans and a pair of blue and white trainers. A travel card for a bus was found on him. Number 21. On the 2nd of August 1995, a 175cm tall white male was seen to run from the rail bridge and place his head on the railway tracks. He was approximately 30 years old, of a thin build, with collar-length brown curly hair, blue eyes, had a tattoo of a bird on his right arm, a birthmark on the right side of his abdomen, and two scars, one on his chest under his heart and the other above his right eye. He was wearing a blue t-shirt, grey trousers and brown boots. A comb and six pence were found on his person. Number 20. A 155 cm tall dark European male stood in front of an oncoming train at Horsey Railway Station with both arms raised on the 31st of March 1996. He was approximately 25 years old, of a medium build, with dark brown collar length hair, had a tattoo on the left side of his abdomen and had a cut on his right arm. He was discovered wearing a blue and white striped shirt a pair of jeans, a black leather jacket, a shirt and brown boots. Found on him were two keys on a key fob and another standalone key. Number 19. On the 15th of December 1998, a 170cm tall white male was struck by a train at Erith Railway Station. He was between 40 and 50 years old, of a thin build with untidy black collar length hair, had brown coloured eyes, a goatee and was lacking some teeth. He was wearing a blue striped shirt, a pair of grey trousers, white and red striped underpants, a Casio watch and a black and grey loafer with a gold bar. Found on his person was a Yale key, a Chubb key and a fob with a teddy bear which had the keys attached. He was seen to place his head onto the third rail. Number 18. A white male aged approximately 50 years old stood in front of a train on the 13th of January 1989. He was of a medium build with short grey hair, blue coloured eyes and had a scar on the left side of his chest. He was wearing a watch, a green anorak, a beige blazer, a woolen beige jumper, a blue and white striped shirt, a white vest, a blue tie with the Sea Princess logo on it, a red next checked scarf, dark purple socks and a pair of blue socks, a silver coloured Parker pen, seven pence, a phone card, an empty wallet, a green carrier bag, three black combs, a train ticket from Harlesden and an empty rail wallet were found on his person. Number 17. On the 29th of March 1999, a 172 cm tall white male was struck and killed by a train at Barking Station in London. He was between 50 and 70 years old, of a thin build with untidy brown hair, had blue coloured eyes and was lacking some teeth. He was discovered wearing a black anorak, black trousers, a pair of dirty blue jeans which were worn under the black trousers, a black jumper, black socks and a pair of trainers. A brown plastic comb, a green lighter and seven pence were found on him. He was seen by the train driver to run across the tracks into the path of the train. Number 16. A 175 cm tall white male was struck by a train outside of Bethnal Green Underground Station where he stood in front of a train on the 22nd of April 2000. He was between 20 and 30 years old, of a thin build with dark brown shoulder length hair and had a moustache. 
He was found wearing a Thomas Brown medium sized long sleeve blue shirt, a light blue shirt with a dark blue collar, a pair of blue Levi jeans, a size 44 dark green jumper, a pair of green striped boxer shorts and a pair of size 45 brown kicker shoes. Three keys on a key ring and a box of matches were found on his person. Number 15. On the 15th of November 2000, a 177 centimetre tall Afro-Caribbean male was seen by a train driver in the Cess area of the railway line at South End East Railway Station. He was approximately 65 years old, of a thin build with receding black hair, brown coloured eyes and had a full beard. He was found wearing a green wax oilskin jacket, brown trousers, a black leather belt with a gold buckle and a pair of scruffy Tommy Hilfiger white trainers. Two dark green jackets were found by his side and £9.82 pence in cash, a green lighter and some papers were found on his person. It did not appear that he'd been struck by a train. Number 14. A 172 centimetre tall white male was struck by a train at Manor Park Railway Station on the 10th of January 2001. He was between 35 and 55 years old, of a fat build with collar length hair. He was found wearing a blue fleece sweatshirt, a pair of brown cords, a purple scarf, a woolly hat and a pair of brown suede shoes. He had on him three lighters, a soft drink, a black hold or an umbrella and cigarette butts in his pocket. He was seen to climb onto the tracks and stand in front of the train. Number 13. On the 5th of June 2001, the skeletal remains of a male were found on a disused railway in Normanton Road. He was approximately 60 years old, 175 centimetres tall and was lacking some upper teeth. He was discovered wearing a pair of size 8 black leather shoes which were manufactured in the 1970s. It's believed he had been dead for up to 20 years. Number 12. A white male was struck by a train while standing on the railway track outside of Canterbury East Railway Station on the 27th of October 2001. He was between 20 and 50 years old, of a medium build with short dark brown hair. He was discovered wearing a black jacket, a light blue padded check shirt, a pair of black trousers, a pair of knee length football socks, a light blue vest, a pair of blue boxer shorts and a pair of black shoes. On the 20th of December 2001, a 173 centimetre tall white male was struck by a train at Peng West Railway Station at 4.43am. He was between 40 and 50 years old, of a stocky build with short brown hair and had a full beard. He was found wearing a beige jacket, a pair of beige trousers, a thick black jacket, a white baseball cap, a red and white striped shirt blue gloves, a calypso watch and a pair of brown boots. £8.95 pence in cash were found on him and a white blanket, a black bin liner and various keys on a key ring with the Spanish address were found near him. Number 10. A 168 centimetre tall white male jumped off the platform at Clan Vecken station on the 20th of September 2002. He was between 16 and 45 years old, of a thin build with short dark brown hair. He was discovered wearing a grey hooded flecked jumper and a pair of black trousers. £17.85 pence in cash, a packet of Richmond cigarettes and two plastic lighters were found on his person. He sat in the path of an oncoming train and was killed instantly. Number 9. On the 28th of September 2003, a white male was struck by a train at Oakley Park Railway Station at 8.30pm. He was approximately 30 years old, of a medium build with black hair. He was found wearing a short length black PVC or leather jacket and a pair of blue jeans. He had on him 10 Bank of England notes. Number 8. 
A 175 centimetre tall white male was struck by a train at Hitchin in Hertfordshire at 9.34 p.m. on the 10th of December 2003. He was between 30 and 40 years old, of a medium build with short dark brown hair, blue eyes, was clean shaven, had a hernia scar on his abdomen and had a cleft chin. He was found wearing a George blue shirt, a pair of blue jeans, a pair of blue socks, a brown parka overcoat and a thin gold band on the right ring finger. Number 7 On the 19th of August 2004, a white male jumped in front of a train at Harpenden Station. He was between 25 and 35 years old and had a bald head. He was found wearing a pair of easy fit gap black jeans, a green camouflage shirt, white underpants, white socks and a pair of black Reebok trainers. Number 6 A 177 cm tall white male was struck by a train at Leighton Midland Road Railway Station on the 8th of November 2004. He was between 30 and 40 years old, of a medium build with short dark brown hair, green eyes and was clean shaven. He was discovered wearing a blue night jacket, dark blue jeans, a grey and white polo shirt, a brown leather wrangler belt and a pair of black diesel trainers which had velcro. A black body glove rucksack and a pair of silver metal nail scissors were found on his person. Number 5 On the 20th of September 2005, a white male was struck by a train in a tunnel at Hassocks. He was between 20 and 50 years old of a stocky build with straight black hair and had some facial stubble. He was found wearing a grey jumper, a pair of green Ben Sherman jeans, a v-neck grey jumper and a pair of size 8 black Reebok trainers. A blue disposable lighter was found on his person. Number 4 A 152 cm tall white male was found in a hut in Crinklewood sidings wrapped in a blanket on the 31st of January 2008. He was approximately 75 years old, of a slim build with receding white hair and had a full beard. He was discovered wearing a watch, a black jumper with a grey circle, a red sweatshirt with Marleybone School written on it, an orange sweatshirt, a green t-shirt, a white vest and a pair of white tracksuit trousers which had a black stripe down the side. Two pairs of glasses were found on him. It is believed he was a local vagrant as he had been seen in the area and was possibly known as Dave. Number 3 On the 26th of June 2010, a 175cm tall white male jumped from a bridge near North Acton Railway Station and landed on the tracks below. He was between 30 and 50 years old, of a slim build with receding short dark brown hair, brown coloured eyes, had some facial stubble and had a number of tattoos on his chest, arms and back. He was found wearing a casual dark blue jacket, beige khaki trousers and a pair of black canvas shoes. He had died as a result of the fall from the bridge. Number 2 A 175 to 177 centimetre tall white male walked off the Leeds bound platform at Sowerby Bridge Station and was hit by a passing train on the 5th of January 2012. He was between 48 and 50 years old of a medium build with collar length grey and black hair and had a moustache. He was discovered wearing a gold and silver metal link chain, a pair of black boxer shorts, a pair of long thermal black leggings, a pair of khaki denim trousers with blue patches on the pockets, a blue belt, a white vest, a green t-shirt with the picture of Che Guevara on the front, a blue rib jumper, a black body warmer, a padded khaki jacket, a pair of size 8 brown walking boots, a grey woolly hat, a grey detachable hood and a Manchester United scarf. A brown coloured watch bezel and a false teeth plate were found in his possession. Number 1 On the 14th of December 2020, the body of an Afro-Caribbean male was recovered. He was between 20 and 40 years old, of a slim build with short black hair. He was found wearing an orange and black watch, a green polo shirt, a black leather belt and black trousers. If you have any information on any of these cases we've covered, 
then please visit missingpersons.police.uk forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash case hyphen search forward slash m2b64. Thank you.